Hi, my name is Brian Counts from Spencerville, Ohio. This is the Dino Van. It's a 1977 Ford E150. Has a uh, 351 Windsor motor in it, automatic transmission. I've owned the van now for I think about six years, but I've only redone it about four years ago. I've had several Nats. I know a lot of people have seen it already. So as you can see I got a dinosaur theme on it which everybody seems to remember the van nobody ever forgets it Fancy wheels there. yeah they're uh, they're XD rims they're brand new I actually have the, uh, the star in the centers painted the identical same color as the orange and then the other pieces here match the bottom of the van it's got a lot of metallic in it Well, when I was younger, I always liked dinosaurs, and then uh, I was thought about uh, getting a tattoo of one one time, but the thing is, I've got some sort of skin that turns white every time I get a cut or a scratch, so I figured a tattoo might not look so well after a while, so I decided, well, I'll just put a dinosaur in the van. Mm -hmm. It started out with my son's got a 71 Chevelle, and he goes to a lot of car shows, and he asked me, he says, Dad, he says, why don't you fix up that van you got in the barn and take it to car shows with me? So I said, okay. So I fixed it up and took it to several car shows, won several trophies. And then I noticed uh, online that Don Newell had a big van show going on. So I thought, well, I'll just drive out there and spend some time out there to see how things go. And I enjoyed it. So I've kind of got into the van and with everybody else. Yeah, that's it. You got hooked. Yep. On there. Yeah, I got some side pipes. They're hooked up. I actually even got some strip lights just above them that uh, reflect off the top of them. Oh, yeah. And uh, with the doors open, they're white. If I shut the door, they'd go off. And then they also, I can control them in here. I can turn them red, which right now they're red and white. Mm -hmm. If I shut the other door, then uh, then the white will go out, and then they're just red on the sides. Yep, got the visor on there. I had a vanner from Ohio get there. He come up to me at a car show one day and asked me if I needed a visor for my van. I said, yeah, I could use one. His, his van got all rusted out and he doesn't do too many vans, he said, but I ended up buying the parts off of him and put on mine. They're halogen headlights, but they have little LEDs in four spots on them that glow through the ring at night. They don't show up as good during the day. I'd like to get ones that have LEDs all the way around which really light up. I haven't done that yet. I did, uh, it's got a 351 Windsor in it that's been rebuilt. It's pretty much factory under the hood. Transmission's been rebuilt in it. I don't know, a lot of people don't realize it, but uh, this van does have air ride seats in it. I noticed that earlier, yeah, very cool. Which makes it nice ride. Mm -hmm. I saw on your door panels here you have the... Yeah, they're just the uh, picture changing like you used to have when you was younger as a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there it is right there. Yep, <laughs> changes. Yeah, chain steering wheel. I even uh, made a new uh, cup holder for it. Original one was just a two cup. It was kind of in bad shape, so I decided to make a new one out of oak and made a four cup out of it. Holds a lot more. I also uh, installed the uh, backup camera. Oh yeah. So there's a you can see somebody back there behind the van now walking around. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's there's a switch above it. The switch above it, I can uh, change the horn settings. Oh, okay. 
So if I'm driving down the road and I just want to blow the regular horn, I just leave it in one position. Then if I switch it. All right, so then in the back here. In the back here, it has the original seat that come with a van when I got it, which also folds down into a bed. Mm. I just got to turn that box sideways, which I keep some linen in there. Everybody loves my carpet I have on the ceiling in here. Everybody always asks how I get it to stuck up there. It's took a lot of staples. <laughs> Lots of staples holds it up. Nice. All right. the, this picture here in the window is actually one of those uh, one of those you buy for like a back of a pickup truck. So you can actually see through it from the inside, but then you can't see in from the inside, or from the outside, I mean. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Shut the door so you can see the rest of it there. Well, I decided I wanted to do like some display stuff, but I was gonna put it on the inside, and then I found this curio cabinet that I found would fit right in the back of my van, so I ended up sliding the couch forward, and then I uh, put the curio cabinet in, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I decided to go ahead and show off some dinosaur stuff. And all the lights I have in here are all LED, so, and I also have two extra batteries up underneath, which, so I can leave them in the car show, just run all day long and they don't go dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Amazon's an amazing place. Yeah. <laughs> Very cool. And then yeah. on your doors here. On well, my doors here, these were all done with a CNC router that my uh, fiance, her son, does these. So he can take any picture and then put it into his router and he can route these out. So that's what I did because I used to have a di couple dinosaur heads on here, very large. Mm -hmm. And when the wind would blow every once in a while, the door would go shut and slam into the inside. So I really didn't want to break no glass in the curio cabinet. So, mm. and I found these wall stickers. So I've got one eye on each door. <laughs> That's just a nice little step hitch I bought. Found that on Amazon also, and then I can swap it out and put my regular hitch when I pull my camper to fan shows. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't notice, but when I had the uh, bumpers sanded and chromed, mm -hmm. that uh, there used to be bumper bolts. Oh, bumper yeah. bolts here, bumper bolts here, front and back. I done welded the studs in. This way all I do is slide them in, put the nuts on the back instead of having the bolts go all the way through. It makes a nice cleaner look. Backup camera up there. Yep, backup camera. And I've got a set of lights on the back of here that brakes, turn signal, backup light. And also in the uh, round porthole windows, mm -hmm. there's actually a string light a lot of people see it at night, but this there's an orange string light inside this rubber tube, which used to be a chrome tube that I put in there. So this glows at night when I have the lights on. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about those now. I found them. I was just wanting to put something on here. The Dino van. I got the name of the Dino. I always like the Triceratops. Then I found this on Amazon, which I thought was just funny because everybody's got their stick figure families. Mm. So I figured dinosaur eating them would be great. And also, uh, since I have the air ride seats, I decided to put air horns underneath it. So underneath the van, I have a set of train horns, and I also have a set of uh, like tugboat horns. 
If you want to hear them, I can yeah. tap them once. This, this will be the tugboat. Okay. Hey. I'm going to have a set of train horns underneath there. Oh, you can change it. And then also on my stereo in the inside, I do have a switch. I can switch it. I've got two speakers mounted up underneath the van that are weatherproof that like if I'm sitting at a show and I want to listen to music, I can put it on the outside instead of having it blare on the inside. Cool. All right, let me start it up so you can see how it sounds. Excellent. 